It is post-match pint and I haven't got a clue what to make of it. What you can see on the table looks like it might well be the closest thing we've got to an answer. At 35 minutes, I was hugely concerned about my functioning alcoholism and whether or not it was going to malfunction all over the place, like Liverpool will malfunction all over the place. Instead, it goes really rather differently and Liverpool find a way through. And look, so have I, so have we. Chris Walsh, Stu Wright. Um, Liverpool deserve nothing because you can't start football matches against top of the table at home like that. And Liverpool deserve everything because it's arguably, in terms of sheer fucking urgency, the best 50 minutes of football they've played all season. This is a really weird football team, Stu. And in the end, Arsenal get out of jail. Gabriel plays brilliantly for them. Ramsdale plays brilliantly for them. But the rest of them are fucking passengers second half. Liverpool, the business second half. But simultaneously, it's mad to say, it's got to be better. It has got to be better. I mean... I hated them for the first 30 minutes. I hated them like I've never hated the Liverpool team more in my life. I, I absolutely despised everything I saw for the first 30 minutes. And then after that, they were tremendous. That, that last hour, they were everything that you'd want from a Liverpool team. Except for the fact that I felt that they were banging on the door and would have been banging on the door till Christmas until Bobby Firmino comes on. And, and I do think he unlocks them. I do think he is the difference maker uh, in the team when he comes on. Or suddenly, you know, there's someone who can hold the ball up and they can see space ahead of them. Um, and, just, and just bring others into play I think it's just one more attack of them Stu in a way like I think it's just one more because Arsenal play in this mad shape that works brilliantly for them for 35 minutes and then suddenly there's fucking gaps everywhere and I'm not even clear who's playing centre half if you know what I mean no I, I think it's more than that I, I, listen I'm a big you know, big disclaimer. I'm a massive Firmino fan, and I think I think we'll we'll re- re- potentially re letting him go uh, in the summer. Um, I'd love to see him being able to play uh, play that role next year. You know, coming off the bench um, and helping us out in games because for me, everything makes sense when he comes onto the pitch. The other forwards. As I say, they could have been there till Christmas, and I'm not sure they'd have broke through. We had loads of the ball, we had loads of energy, uh, loads of opportunity, but when he comes on. Things just seem to gel, seems to come to seem to come together. Someone with a brain puts the foot on the ball and is closing down. I mean, he hasn't got 90 minutes in to close down their defenders anymore, but he was able to do it for a good 20 minutes there. I'd like to have seen him sooner. Um, you know, you could you could go through the team and and really. Um, Wax lyrical about the performance after the first 30 minutes. Loads of things which were which were not functioning all of a sudden seem to work. But it shouldn't come to that. It shouldn't come to the fact we're 2-0 down, getting absolutely undressed at home before we, we suddenly have to play angry. We have to play angry before we're, we're willing to win a challenge, actually play with purpose, play with a bit of passion, a bit of pride. You know, Van Dyke in the first 30 minutes, I'm sorry, he was a mirage. He was a mirage and I love him. You know, but it's no good playing with the body language of, and he's not the only one, by the way. I could go through three or four here. We were playing with the body language of Everton's going against us and blaming each other and, and playing within themselves. And then they get to the point where they're playing angry. And Van Dyke, after 30 minutes, won every single header. It was a huge difference. Canate came alive when he saw his Canate's defensive. second half. Oh, outrageous. my God. Outrageous. I was next to Gibbons in the match. We very rarely watched the match together, me and John. And he said to me, second half, fuck man of the match. And I, he might say this on the pinks, by the way, so if I steal the joke, he said, fuck man of the match, I'd give Canate the ballon d'or <laughs> off the back of this. If he scores there last minute, I reckon Gibbons is out for the rest of his life. It was an outrageous second half from Canate. It was. And, and actually, the, the workload that's on him, because Trent's playing in a new position today, he's playing like that that City fullback role where, you know, defensively he's at right back, but as soon as we're on the ball, he's into centre midfield. And I thought, as the game progressed, that started to look really effective that looked really good but in the first half an hour didn't know what they were doing but in the second half Canate covered him perfectly you know everything was left to him down that, that side he was covering the centre half position but also Martinelli on the break when Trent wouldn't be able to get there it was Canate's and he was a colossus absolute colossus he made Trent's role make sense it's, it's such a mad game Chris it really is it shouldn't happen that way round really and the other part of this is they are the league leaders. They've won so they've only not won seven now this season. It was six before today. They go two 0 up. It's mad to me how quickly they fade and the way in which they fade. So we got punched in the face, and we've been punched in the face so much this season. Brighton, Brentford, Wolves. Christ, we we were under the stand at Wolves at two 0 after about twenty minutes. You get punched in the face, but for some reason today Liverpool wins. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tap my nose here. I'm gonna punch you back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a go here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take that, that shot right on me nose, and I'm gonna give you what I've got. And that was really good to see. YouTube, press the button, become a member of the Anfield Wrap from the heart of the city of Liverpool. 
the best way to enjoy all your Liverpool-based videos, everything you need, every single day. It is the Anfield Wrap.